Alright, uh, Matt and anybody else that uh, needed help fixing the mag monitor. This is not necessarily a guaranteed fix since I had a few emails telling me that uh, the capacitor change didn't do anything for their problem. Um, it seems from what I've read that there's uh, two separate problems. One with the, compa uh, the capacitors and uh, another one where people have perfect compa or, uh, capacitors but um, something to do with the inverter. So I'll try to make you guys a short video on how to take it apart and uh, change out the capacitors and where they're at and all that good stuff. Okay, to take the front bezel off, I've got laying on its back. You can see that's the bottom. Uh, there's a one, two, three, four screws. You're going to want to unscrew those. All right, the screws are out. I was saying, as you all probably found out the hard way, is a really pain, big pain to uh, take apart. I even forgot about how to take it apart. Uh, on the corners, they seem to get stuck, so I just inserted a knife and kind of twisted and popped up. You want to be gentle, man, because you don't want to break your bezel or that, the screen. But um, as soon as I get this sucker the rest of the way off, um, I'll uh, tell you how I did it. Okay, once I got the other corner popped up, uh, it just basically lifts up. You might have a little uh, resistance and then just kind of slide it off. Uh, thing sure is a pain. Now there's the screen. There's the, uh, well, there it is. One of the screws. I think I left a couple of screws out that hold the screen in. I mean, you can if you want, if you don't want to. No problem, but four is plenty enough. Alright, so here's the screen unbolted, unsecured. Uh, there's the wires underneath. These are the wires that uh, hook into the screen's lighting. You want to just... They only go back on one way, though, so it might look kind of confusing. But, um, let me see here. Each one... Let me try and some light for you. Each one has a pink and white uh, wire and you know this these two or this opening right here goes to these two wires to this bottom part of the monitor and up here goes to the upper part of the monitor. I got scared when I first took it apart and I was like how am I going to put these back on and they look the same but it's really really pretty easy. Okay, over here is the, the uh, I guess the data feed for the screen, and that just kind of wiggles out, comes unplugged, and these do the same thing. So uh, as soon as I get the screen off, I'll uh, continue to take this apart. Okay, so we got the cover off. You just follow the screws around. You'll uh, let me back up a little bit so you can see. There's a couple screws there, one right there, one right there, one up here, and one right there. It goes on like that. When you pull it off, you gotta kind of feed these back through the little holes. Uh, I hope you can see. And uh, that part's gone. Okay. This is the culprit right here for most people. It's underneath this board is the uh, six capacitors, the four seven zero microfarad or UF um, 25 volt is what it came with I put 35 volt uh, in there so it'd be 470 UF uh, 35 volt and I believe they're 85 degrees um, they worked fine for me or they, the suckers still working so you know can't beat that but um, I'll go ahead and take this apart and then we'll go to the soldering part Okay, this board right here is actually plugged in with like a little plug. I think it's right about here. So what you want to what you want to do is kind of like, you know, get a hold of it. Try to avoid touching any of this stuff because if it has a residual charge, you could get zapped, and it, and it won't feel good. But um, you put your fingers like that. I don't know if you can see. I have to kind of watch the camera to make sure it's on uh, what I'm trying to show you. 
kind of put your fingers like that and there it goes, lifts up, pops out, and you're going to have to flip it over, kind of flip it off to the side. Okay. Now, let's see here. Let me get it adjusted right. Okay, those six capacitors right there are your enemy. Um, these are the new ones. Uh, they all still look pretty good. No bulging, no leaking whatsoever. So, I guess it worked. I'm not sure which parts the inverter on this board. I mean, it could be this, uh, one of these. I, I have no clue. I mean, it's I'm not an electrical engineer, so. But okay, uh, let me come back to you so I can flip it over.